Sunday the 13th of November. I just dropped my mother off to church. I popped into B&M and I've picked this up to have for my breakfast because I am a little bit peckish and I've not had anything to eat yet. Made bacon sandwiches for everybody before I went out. So this is 251 calories. It is a Bonoffi pie protein bar. So I'm off to Heron because I want to get some garlic butter from there. And then it will probably be time to pick up my mum. I just thought I'd show you these. In Heron, you can get four tubes for a pound, or well, they're 39 pence each. And I just bought um, the one tube, thought that'd be handy. And calorie wise, you can have five grams for 25 calories. So yeah, tube of chocolate. And what's good about this one is it's got a zero palm oil in it. So yeah. So I've just shown you the inside of this bread pudding. Kids have just tried some, they said it is divine. So that is what it looks like inside. You can even see bits of the lemon zest and the sugar on top is all crunchy. So I'm gonna stick the rest away in a Tupperware. I've got a nice big bit wrapped up for Michelle for bingo. That's a small bit there, which I might weigh and have with my lunch some cheeky little uh, Kit Kats there, Lotus Biscoff ones I picked up earlier. But yeah, that is the bread pudding. So if you've got any bread that needs using up, that is an ideal thing to do with it. So I'm just about to assemble my lunch. So I'll show you what I'm having now. So this is what I'm having for my lunch. It's 488 calories. It's half a crusty baguette roll with garlic butter spread it on. Then I've toasted it in the air fryer. Then I've added a slice of ham. It's cut in half there, the ham. And then I've got some cheese on top. And then I have nabbed that small piece of bread pudding. So I will stick the calories on screen. And that's my lunch. So I have just left. I'm on my way to pick up Michelle. for me when we got back earlier being very helpful and I didn't think to check and it hasn't charged it one bit so I think we're going to be coming home on fresh air I've got hardly any electric I think I might get away with getting back with a whisker to spare and I haven't bought that much with me I'm going to get a Subway salad but this side of my mouth three times today I've bitten it for no reason when I've eaten something and it's all swollen inside and every time I eat something I'm catching it and it's like oh and I just know I'm gonna do it again tonight so mm, I haven't bought a lot with me so I'm gonna get a salad and then I have got a few bits that um, bread pudding I made Oof, it was lush. I only did have that little bit though, and I wasn't tempted to bring another bit with me to bingo because I wanted other things. I sent some down to my mum, and the kids have had some. Warren didn't fancy it, which surprised me. But yeah, so. I will catch up with you in a bit when I've got Michelle and we're gonna go and get a sub. I'm actually having a salad and not a sub, so it's less calories. And I just hope I don't bite the side of my face off when I eat it. So, I'm with Michelle now. We're on our way to win some Hello. money. We are gonna win some money. Her right hand's been itching all day. Right hand's been itching for two days. Since about lunchtime yesterday. So I'm feeling like something's coming in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I trust you. <laughs> How long have we been recorded? 30 seconds? Less than 30 <laughs> seconds and you lower the tone? Me? You, you just giggled. I said something's going to come in my hand. Oh. As in money I was thinking and you just blew it. 
<laughs> Welcome to Karen's vlog today. Oh god. <laughs> I'm trying to say anything else now. Oh. Oh, you're so naughty. That's quite funny, that. <laughs> we're on form tonight, pal. Oh dear. <laughs> Anyway, I yeah. think we're going to win tonight because we've had some, some little. There's um, a special night out. See, I nearly bit my lip again then, just talking. There's a special night down at Bingo. Bingo. <laughs> Bingo. Where you Bingo. Get stuff in your hands. Yeah. <laughs> um, called Goliath. Goliath night. Mm. And it's going to be rammed. Which is why we're going really early. The houses. Is it the last four houses? The last four houses are 3,000. 3, and every other house is 300 quid. Because I saw it on their Facebook. Every page. other? Every, no, every. Oh, all the ev others. Every, including the earlies, including the Ooh. quickie flyer, including the lates. All of it. The lates? Lates as well as oh. 300 pound house. Because um, I had a little look on their Facebook earlier. Yeah. It's on there. So, yeah, I know quite a few people that, well, I know a couple of people. I know that a few people that go in. My friend Shree's going. Oh, is she? Yeah, she sits over near, um, like, over there near the toilets, like... The other toilets? I think she said number 57. And we're like, we go the other side. Yeah, because we like the other side, because there's a table with you like there, isn't there? Yeah. Me and Jess always go to that table as well. We're really I like gone table. I reckon it's going to be so busy, they're going to be struggling for seats. Like, when did you go, ever go to a Christmas one? No, I've never been to a Christmas one. Oh. I'd like to do a Christmas tree. Do a Christmas one this year yeah. Me and Jess are going to the Christmas one and we order like a Grace box and stuff and it's our like little Christmas oh. night out. Oh, but we we but we um like struggled to find somewhere to sit last time. It's a nightmare. Yeah, we don't go on their Christmas night. We oh. just we just go at Christmas sometime yeah. and make a Oh I was gonna say as well. Um, um between Christmas and Christmas and New Year, we've had a little trip down, Mum's coming down. So do you want to come with us? Come and pick you up. Where are you going? Bingo. Take it my mum. She loves bingo. Oh yeah. So I was like, you meet my friend Karen then, my little bingo oh, buddy. She was yeah. like, oh yes, it'd be nice to meet some of your friends this time. I was like, yes mum. Yeah, that'd be nice, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so um, she's coming, I'm going to pick her up on the, some, we managed to sort it. When's this? 21st of December I pick her up. And then I'm dropping her back the day after Boxing Day. And we can make that our Christmas little party. Make a little Christmas thing, can we? Um, so yeah, so I'm picking up on the 21st, which is the Thursday. Oh, and then she's saying for Christmas then? Yeah. Ah. Um, so the Thursday. Friday I've got stuff planned, but I can't talk about it on camera because there's a surprise in there for Mum. So I'll talk to you about that on camera. Um, yeah. Then um, I've got to go over to Marks and Sparks and Talbot Green for half one on... 23rd to go and pick my Marks and Sparks order up for Christmas. Oh, the one you booked. Yeah. I know. That's like, it's turning into a bit of a thing now because it's Christmas dinner, right? Because yeah. there's only three of us. It's loads of bloody option up, isn't it? Well, buy ready meal, ready trust stuff well, this is what place. I've done this time. So I've got a turkey crown from, we've done this a couple of years back. We're not having turkey. Aren't you? No. What are you having? I'm going to do a joint of beef. Lush. I'm going to do this as well. And I'm just going to do chicken breasts. Nice. Because my mum said to me, she went, I'm not overly bothered on having turkey. She said, it's just hassle having to carve a turkey and blah, blah, blah. The kids yeah. the kids just have a bit and then leave it. Yeah. Warren said he's not bothered. So I'm just going to do like um, maybe chicken wrapped in bacon or something. Nice. It's just basically going to be a Sunday dinner, but a bit yeah. fancier, isn't it? That's it. I'll do stuffing and all that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, but I'm not, I'm not bothered with buying turkey this year. No. Well, it's cheaper. You can get a tray of chicken for like £11 and you buy a turkey, you're looking at at least sort of 20, 20, 20 odd. Yeah. Might be a bit more than that. And I'm going to use all well. my lovely tureens I got from the charity shop and the car Ooh, boot sale. Shopping. I'm going to have that much crap on the table. We won't have room for the plates. It's all right. It's Christmas. It's fine. Yeah. And I, um, I'm well stocked up for things like that. I'm having a little um, thing. My mother's 80 now, isn't she, on the 24th? Oh, bless her. And I'm uh, doing a little tea party in the house. Aww. She might not be watching this because she said to me the other day, oh, I found out how to watch one of your older YouTubes. I was like, oh, uh -oh. Right. 
She won't be your newest she, stalker. She won't be one of them. Sunset over there. Huh? Sunset. Yeah, pretty. pretty. So I'm going to be baking a storm, cooking a storm oh, rather. Oh. Well, I'm baking. Well, Marks and Sparks have taken the straight this year. <laughs> well, I'm going to do a batch of scones. I think there's going to be about 11 of us all together. My sister's coming over from Spain. Oh, lush. She knows that, but she thinks that she's just coming to visit. And then Annabelle and Harrison, my niece and nephew, are coming down because he's now in Nottingham in university. Wow. So he's going to come up. And then um, me, Warren, and the kids. Jess is coming over. And I've Aww. invited um, two people mum goes to church with. That's lovely. And one woman in the street that pops in for a coffee to see her. Me, Mum and Gary will come up as well then. Huh? Me, <laughs> Mum and Gary will come up as well. You won't, you won't, it's on the 26th of um, November. Oh, that's when you're doing it, is it? Yeah, because the birthday's on the 24th. Yeah. And I'm doing it on the 26th. Oh, Which gosh. is, what day is the 26th? Mm. It's a Saturday. Sunday will be the yeah next week on Saturday. It's a Saturday. Yeah. Oh, I was thinking then. Oh, the kids might be in school. <laughs> I've ordered balloons off a girl. Two lots of balloons. Oh. I've ordered a cake. I thought I'm not making a cake. And then um, I'm going to make. We're keeping it to like more of a cream tea than a buffet. Lovely. So it'd just be like cakes and scones. Perfect. Over if you want. Might do actually. Yeah. Can you see? Yeah. Come for munch. Come for munch. I see your kitchen as well. That I've been you promising I'm going to come yet. up and see. I've got a KitchenAid mixer now. Oh, I know. I saw. It's not a big one. It's only a hand one. Yeah, but it's KitchenAid and you've wanted one for like as long as I've known you. It's Wendy, right? Wendy. Wendy the Whisk. Wendy the Whisk. Nancy the Ninja's my ninja. Oh, was that called my Nigel, I think? Nigel, was yours. Nigel's um, retired a bit now. Oh. Alice the Ace Call's been uh, giving me joy. <laughs> giving you joy. <laughs> don't, don't take a lot to give me joy. Just give me a gadget. Just and, give you a gadget yeah. and everyone's happy. One of my days of going out clubbing and stuff like that. Oh, do you know what? We were meant to have gone out yesterday. Because it was Gary's sister's birthday yesterday. So we were oh, meant yeah. to be going out like day drinking and mm. then we got invited around with Jason's for the rugby and the Covid booster this week wiped me out so much sure, it hasn't bothered me a You've bit been really lucky I I can feel that I've had something in my arm because there's a little lump there yeah but if you punched me in it I think I'd be alright if you know what I mean but um, mine felt and like I've been stabbed no I haven't had any fluey symptoms or that Warren nearly got taken out with his. Yeah, Gary's not it even was bad. He had to have antibiotics in the end to really? clear a chest infection from him. Well, Gary's not even um, gone out all weekend. He's not talking to me still, though. Oh, he wasn't talking to me yesterday and he's, he's carried it on to today, so he wants to be childish. I'm playing along. <laughs> <laughs> I love that game, though. It's such a fun game to play. Who gives first? Who gives first? He does. I never give in first. Oh. See, I'm, I'm always the one that gives him first with you, Gary. Yeah. Or I even said sorry when it's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> he'll want your sandwiches done in the morning, so he'll probably say sorry later. Oh. Or I'll go in and he'll go, I'm going to be in. But I've left a bolognese cooking in the slow cooker. Left instructions what he's got to do. Oh, we'll keep up. Mm. Lloyd Grossman, um, Joe. Nice. Dexter was being um, a little pain, so I was like, right, you can chop up some veg. So we chopped up the onion, mushrooms and peppers. Oh, good. He's done a good job, to be fair. So chuck them in, whole pack of mints, big jar of sauce. And I've stuck it on high. I've told him to put it on for four hours. Yeah. Or leave it on for four hours. And then I've left long spaghetti, so I've told him to snap it in half, chuck it in, mix it up, put the lid back on for half hour, and then it should be done. It'll all be in one mm -hmm. then. Save him boiling it. That's good. I've never thought of putting like pasta in the slow yeah, cooker. Yeah, it works. That's really good. If you just put dry pasta in with no moisture, it'll stay dry pasta. 
it would go even harder. Yeah, but if you like put it in with a bolognese. But if you put it in, like, um, like if you were in work all day and you really wanted pasta when you come home, if you put water in there with pasta and just left it on low all day, you'd have cooked pasta. Mm. But, uh, oh, guess what I bought today? Um, Christmas dinner mug shots. Oh! I bet they oh, taste no, like on. the bin. I think bin. we tried them before and they were rancid. Oh, they taste like the bin, inside yeah. of a bin, do they? Yeah. Oh, well, I bought two just to try. Do you know what I had the other week in work? Because I've been getting into soups at work, right? And mm. taking a can of soup into work and then having some crisps or whatever with it. And I had, in Aldi, mm. one of their luxury soups in a can. Yeah. So it's still really Is that the chunky one? Me. No, it's a smooth one, but it was butternut, squash and bacon. Oh. oh my days, it was it was delicious. I was watching a guy um, on YouTube the other day, the baldy somebody, the baldy foodie or bald, somebody, oh, yeah. he's a bald guy obviously, and he was reviewing Aldi's chunky soup against Heinz, um, Big, soup. Heinz Big Soup, and he said it was quite a lot of difference in money, and he's he struggled to find a difference. He said they look they looked the same, except there was a slight, ever so slight different colour, hardly anything in them. Mm. And he said they tasted the same. Blimey. So, so I'm a bit weird with soups. I'm not. Like. I'm not. A I'm not a food. I like food. I'm. Mm. I'm food obsessed. I'm always. If we go in a shop, it's always the food bit I go to. I. Oh. I like my food, as you know. I like my food. As you both do. But. Well, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's not hard to tell we like our food, is it, eh? Not at all. So, um, I'm not a food snob, though. I'll eat little Aldi. Oh, I'm not like, oh, I must have Heinz, or my I must favorite, have this, or I must... My no. favourite ham is from Lidl. Is it the big, massive slice one? No. Nope. It's one... Oh, that, I know, it's the Bavarian. Bavarian. I know. Or Brunswick. It's got quite a big rim of Yeah, um, I love it. Like the rim. It's not like a thick rim. It's like a thin, flappy rim. <laughs> 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 oh, oh. Yeah, but it's got like a big rim <laughs> of fat on it. <laughs> so, in the 13 minutes we've been in the car, we've, we've gone to the gutter. <laughs> It's always your fault. You just start it, see? You yes. just start giggling and it just goes, did it? Oh, God. Oh, you crap, yeah. But yeah, the uh, one with the rim of, of happiness. Oh, you don't eat the rim? Yeah. Oh, I cut that bit off and throw it away. Mm. Oh, it's really thick. I and... like that. No, this one's really thin. Oh. It's not, it's not, the, it's like really thin ham. Yeah, but the rim of fat is thick and, ooh. Uh -huh. It's alright, in a sandwich. Oh, I was watching someone on YouTube today, Kerry Weltdale, I think her name is. I watch her a lot. She's got loads of subs and everything. And she was doing family meals of the week. And I really fancy doing it. I might do it this week. So, she had pork belly, which, yes, is full of fat. I know, but I do like the fat. Banging. Tasty, banging. In a ninja or air fry oh. or whatever. Oh. It was flavoured one from a butcher's, but they sell it by me. So she had pork belly strips that she like out, cut in half. Oh, you got out of the way she cut them in half and fried them so they were so crispy, you know. Mm -hmm. And then she served it with a jacket potato with cheese on and just green beans. Yum! And it looked really tasty, and I was like, oh, I fancy that. Oh, talking of YouTubers and like people vloggers and stuff, mm -hmm. have you watched Poppy Cooks? No. Oh my god, she's a potato queen. She made the stuff she makes with potatoes is unbelievable. Is that what her channel's based yeah. on? Making things with potatoes? Yeah, Poppy Cooks, her name is, her name is and she is absolutely, she's a proper chef. Oh, I'll have a look. But stuff. If I find works. her, I'll put a link in the description. I'll um, send you a link so you can put it in the description. All oh, right, okay. Is she fun. like a big YouTuber? Yeah. She's just got um, gifted T Fal Ingenio set, which is this set that I really want. If, if I don't get the good words, right? yeah, it's like the one that's that, all, like is that all, an electric thing? No, it all slots in together. It's like pans that all slot in together. Uh, oh, I know, I yeah. know, I know. I the handles Jane, come off them. Um, yeah, I know. I look at the Jane Oliver set and it was like three hundred quid, and I was like, I'm not paying three hundred quid for a set of Although I 
Oh, I did see a nice set in cook cookbooks. Tracy Mouse that I watch has gifted um, loads of salter saucepans that are really good. They've got like um, color changing things on the handle. Oh, yeah, they're really good. They're I think they're exclusive to Tesco. They're made by Salter. I like Salter. I like Salter stuff as well. Um, but yeah, they look really good. I might. Uh, Get some if I'm got your posh not in the business to get hands at the minute. Gadgets, can't you? Well, I'm after. Oh, there's a police, police van outside, so it's gone. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ninja, um, do you need a toaster? No. I got a brand new toaster, but it's on my worktop and I don't need a toaster now because I just toast in the air fryers. Yeah, what, just normal day to day toast? Yeah. Yeah. It's a bloody pucker. I'm gonna give my toaster. I'm gonna give my pie. Have a nice day. I'm gonna give my toaster to somebody or stick it on Facebook or whatever. It's yeah. brand new. I've used it like twice. Black one. Is it a two or a four slicer? A two. Oh yeah, I need a four slicer. Yes, yeah, a two. So, oh look how busy Ooh, it is at this time. Look at this. We're really early. There's no like, flipping spaces. No, there might be someone on the front. You might be right. Um. Yeah, you just do toast in there, so I thought it would be something less on my worktop because I want a ninja kettle. Warren, when you're talking to me again and not in a mood. <laughs> I want a ninja kettle and I want a ninja block of knives. Oh my God. It's mental. Should we go up the lane? Yeah, you might have to. Like, I've never seen it this busy this early before. Oh, look at the queue inside and all. Flipping oh, it. You can park. Um, in bookers for there as well. I reckon people have been down here all day. And you've nicked our space, hun. Well, let me turn around quick before someone goes up. Right, this is a sign, right? We're not parking in our usual parking space. Well, a lorry got stuck um, and I had to keep coming. Oh, you were with me, I was with you. you. Yeah, that lorry. Well, then that, the yeah, but I'm allowed to park there, I think. Yeah, you are allowed to park there. Because it's not double yellows. The double yellows start here. Yeah. Right, we're in. We're in. We're not in our usual space. Well, we're this just... This is a sign. Do you think we should sit in different seats I then? I saw the sign and it opened up my eye And I am happy now and without you I let you go oh, oh. If you remember that song, please get involved. And don't... Because oh. you're giving me that look that you're like, what on That's earth? That's a space. Oh, yeah. I was thinking it was one. That you used to see, oh, that she wants is another baby. I know. That one. Oh, Christ, don't give me any more babies. No. Dexter asked me the other day if I could have another baby. I said, no, I'm, I'm, um, I'm out of order in that department anymore. <laughs> and he was I love them, but I'm not giving them back more. Yes. Wise choice that was. <laughs> Can't give mine back. Oh. Right, I'm gonna go and join the queue. Yes. And I do queues, and I, the queue was big, I think. It wasn't out the door, like yeah. it was last time we come in. We better go then we before go. it is out the door. Yeah. Catch you in there to let you know what it's like and what I'm eating. You saw. So we're in Bingo, and it's around. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So Fingers crossed, we're gonna win. Wow, we didn't win a flipping bean. Not a bean. We weren't know. even close. What's the closest no. you got to a number? One number. Oh, you did get to one. Did get to one number. One three hundred. No one. Hundred. Ah. Oh. I tell you what, we met some lovely people tonight. Yeah. Really nice people. Lovely couple. Lovely couple next to us that were on um, separate tables because there weren't tables because there wasn't anywhere to sit. And I was like, is this your date night? And they were laughing. They had their backs to each other, I think. Yeah, pretty much. Um, and then there was this lovely mother and son there. We were talking to them. Yeah. 
and now we're in the biggest traffic jam we're in our parking space and we have got no sign of moving. moving no none at all we are trapped and there doesn't seem to be any movement in the cars like down the bottom either. yeah they're not even moving it's like a standstill no it's weird get you back in time for work Oh. I've only got two. I got one and a chunk. One and a chunk of um, electric. It's a bit dangerous. Yeah. Oh, I've just realised your ring light changed colour. Yeah, I got ring light on right. right, 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 right ring light on my phone, and it's we're in a bit of a disco, aren't we? Right, a little rave in the car. Yeah. Oh, there's movement. Yeah, movement. But they're not going to let us out. That's the last one. Oh, so, yeah. Always an Audi that never lets you out. <laughs> it's true. Well, Audi well, gave me whiplash. <laughs> or Audi caused me to give myself whiplash. Because mm. when I was driving into Cardiff, yeah. you know the bit on um, North Road where it's two lanes into one, and sometimes it goes two lanes coming out of Cardiff, sometimes it goes two lanes going into Cardiff. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Um, I was driving down there, and mm. this Audi come round the outside of me. Didn't realise there was only one lane. Got in front of me and broke in front of me. Well, don't you know what else Audis do? And I had to run over my chicken. Break. An Audi run over chicken? Yeah. <gasps> do you remember? No. A few years ago, and I was bloody skint. And I was like, oh, what can I make for tea? And I needed chicken, so I went and bought this really cheap nasty chicken from Tesco like it was something like two quid in a bag I thought that'll do for tea I also picked up these Mars bars and I put them on the roof of my car and didn't for some reason I was talking to someone got in my car and off I went and my bloody Mars bars and that went around the corner Whee! and these chickens just went <laughs> across the road and I was like oh my god that's tea that's tea that's so I, I went up to where like Nisa is ran the mini roundabout right not ran, zoomed back, and I was like, oh, there's my chicken. Went to pull over to get out the car, and I heard this almighty bang, and this bloody Audi run over my friggin' chicken <laughs> and popped the bag, and all the chicken was rolling all over the road, and I was like, you bastards, that's that was bloody my chicken. chicken. And God knows where my Mars bars went. I never saw them again. You probably snuffled them. <sighs> And then the next day then, but I could see the birds had like pecked it all away. Ew. I was like, you bastard. That was my bloody chicken. That was, bla that was a black Audi that was. She probably, or he, whoever was driving it, probably thought, what the hell was that? It was like an explosion. Yeah. Bang. Oh, honestly. Bloody Audis. <laughs> The Audi, there's a different Audi to that one, and it looks like this car. Yeah, the A1. No. The it's... one in front of us looks like our car. Our car. Oh, yeah, you got some car. I've got some car. <laughs> you got matching. Yeah. I think mine's black and petrol. Mm. Yeah, you struggled you to have an electric car where you live, though. Yeah. Struggle to have an electric car full stop because I just don't think I could drive it. You could. Oh, see, I'm not well, like that. He doesn't want to drive this car because he doesn't know how. That's why. I'll drive it. I'll have a go. But when I tried driving an automatic before, I nearly crashed it because I just couldn't work out how to use one foot <laughs> instead of both feet. I got confused. Oh, it's just. Um, I've lost a mile sitting here and doing nothing. Uh oh. How many miles is it home? Nine. Oh, from right, my work. Right, then. Yeah, nine miles from my work, and we're closer to home than my work. Probably about three miles, or three, four miles from my work. Be all right then. So we should be all right. I've never run out of electric yet. You got a breakdown cover? Yeah. What do they come out if you've got no electric? Yeah, they do. Do they? Mm. Oh, that's right then. I don't know whether they just give you a super, bo a super boost charge to get you home, or whether I they do. tell you. We just give you a stick boost. Oh, yeah. yeah, quite. Although my uncle's got mm. one of these um, hybrids where it, it like charges the battery as you drive on petrol. Yeah. So I could get away with having one of them mm. if I was going to get an electric car. Well, when we change Warren's uh, Warren's car, I think we're going to get um, 
a bigger car but it'll either be like a hybrid or an automatic yeah i don't think lauren's that fussed on having an automatic but i said oh, it would be better to to get that especially for you to drive as well yeah and then we can swap cars i, like I had invite to go and look at a mocha did you hear? Hmm. But I don't know if they look a bit um I don't know. Yeah. They're funny shape money. Yeah, and it's hundred pounds more a month than this one. Yeah. And I think, mm, what am I gonna benefit from getting that to this? Apart from a bigger car. But it's not that yeah, much it's bigger. Not though. Be that much and bigger. you can still fit three boys in the back of this, can't you? Mm. Just. They were saying to me the other day, we should never want me to do that seven seater car. There's so much room in there. It was good that because, like, on the school run and that, Mackenzie would be in the front, one would be in the next lot of seats, and then the other one would be in the next lot of seats. So they yeah. had their own. Uh, the more you get, the bigger the car, the more expensive it is to run. I'm going to put it on Eco Drive yeah. now. What's Eco Drive? There's my knob. Oh, what's there this do then? Eco. Basically, performance, the form, performance is limited. So you don't get your air con. You don't get certain things. You don't need air con anyway. It's bloody freezing out. But yeah, you now Eco is quite good. So oh, if you're mm -hmm. running out of juice, turn that on and it drive, and you can't go as fast. And if you're driving along and you oh, put no, it into I've seen eco, that. It's the 30 limit on there. Where? Up on the right hand side. No, that's telling you that it's 30 along here. Oh, the speed limit? Yeah. Ah, oh, I've got you. No, that's handy that, because if you're on a road and you're thinking, oh God, what's the what's speed, the speed limit? limit? It tells you on there. Yeah. Have you managed to sort out of getting your phone set up on um, your screen yet? Oh, no, I'm bothered. Isn't it? It's funny though, because when I attach my phone to the car it just plays all my non-copyright youtube music because <laughs> Warren said he'd do a playlist thing for me but i haven't done it yet keep saying give me a phone and i'm like oh, i'm using it oh see look i've gone down and then i've just gone up a couple oh, yeah, miles gone up to 30 seconds. it self charges at certain points not loads depends how you drive it if you drive it like a maniac you run out of electric quicker if you yeah. drive it, you know, like normal, yeah, same with petrol, though, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose. In that respect, tell you what, though, I do love it, and I wouldn't want a petrol car. No, I'd it's so much better for your legs, as well, especially when you're having bad days. Because mm. you do have well, those can, bad days. I can drive an automatic, but I can drive a manual, it's just a pain in the neck because my leg, yeah. And if I go shopping, which I never go shopping, do I? Never. Never. I'm never, never in a shop. Never in a shop. But if I go shopping... Never go in a shop to get me hairspray mm, or anything. No. <laughs> but if I go shopping, then I can't drive for about 10 minutes. I've got to sit in the car. Yeah. My ring light's gone off now. Oh. And we're in this traffic jam. Oh, there we are. We're Aww. back on. Bit got green. the disco light on. Mm. But, uh, seriously, we must have been sitting there nearly 10 minutes. Yeah. Freaking all right. I'm barely moved. And I've got to sort the uniform out when I get back. I'm going to bed. I know exactly what I'm wearing for work tomorrow. I've already got it ready. So I've literally just got to get up, like, have a shower. I'm going to bed. You lucky yeah. bugger. You know. It's strange me being awake after nine o'clock. Because normally by now I'm dozing. I'm not sure where you're going, hunt. That's a dead end up there, love. Yeah, she'll realise in a second mm. and come back behind us. <sighs> Could cut across there and go through, but then there'd be just a bigger queue. Let's get out that way. Yeah. Mm. Right, I'm going to end it here because uh, my light keeps going off. Yeah. And we're we just look like jabbering we just in red uh, light. Yeah, look like we're in the red light district now. Yeah. Oh, God. Right. <laughs> Thanks nice for evening, watching, though. guys. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Yeah. And I'll be back tomorrow with more 
delicious food. See you soon. And have I managed to get a Greg's bag while I've been in Bingo? Maybe or maybe not. Have to wait and see tomorrow.